So let us proceed and start by understanding the procedure for issue of shares. <coughs> what we are discussing now is issue of shares for cash. Now, in case of private companies, one distinguishing feature between private companies and public companies is that shares are not easily transferable in case of private companies. So, private companies, when there is an issue of shares, it is by means of a private placement. A few known people may get together and bring in the capital required for a private company. <coughs> What we will be considering now is the procedure and the accounting entries related to issue of shares for cash by public companies. <clears throat> when a company wants to make an issue to the public, it issues a prospectus. A prospectus will contain the details of the company, the details of the project in which the company wants to invest, a feasibility study and this prospectus is nothing but an invitation to the public asking them to subscribe to the shares of the company if they are interested. So the public who is interested would fill up the application form which would indicate and the acceptance of the offer made by the company. <clears throat> now, if a company makes an issue for 10 lakh shares, according to SEBI, the Securities Exchange Board of India, 90% of the shares issued, at least 90% of the shares issued, must be subscribed for. <clears throat> that is the minimum subscription. And if this minimum subscription is not subscribed for, the issue falls through and the money which has been collected has to be refunded. Minimum subscription is supposed to be the amount which is enough to pay for the fixed assets, for the working capital, for other commitments which have been made. But then SEBI has specified that minimum subscription should not be less than 90%. <clears throat> this includes the amount which has been underwritten. Now what is underwriting? An underwriter, he underwrites the risk of uncertainty in an issue. What does that mean? When a company makes an issue for 10 lakh shares, it does not know whether 10 lakhs would be subscribed for, whether only 5 lakhs would be subscribed for or it would be oversubscribed. The underwriter steps in and he assures, he guarantees that the entire 10 lakhs would be subscribed for and he says that if this entire 10 lakhs is not subscribed for, he will take the shares which are not unsubscribed for. For taking this risk of uncertainty of the issue, the underwriter has to be paid a commission. It's called an underwriting commission. And <clears throat> according to the Companies Act, the maximum rate of commission is 5% for equity shares. And it is 2.5% in case of debentures. Just like shares are issue of capital, debentures are issue of loan. This is capital. So how are shares issued? An invitation is given to the public in the form of a prospectus inviting them to the subscribe to the shares of the company. Interested investors will fill up the application form and accept the uh, accept the offer, accept the offer made by the company. The company has to ensure that a minimum subscription has been subscribed for and if there is minimum subscription then the company 
the directors of the company go through the share applications and allot the shares. <clears throat> Underwriters are often engaged for issuing of shares so that the uncertainty of the issue is removed. The underwriting commission rates of commission as prescribed by law are 5% for equity shares and 2.5% for debentures. <clears throat> It may be noted that if shares are issued to directors, employees, etc., such shares are not underwritten. 